In this video, we're going to be discussing John Rawls and his theory of social justice. And of course, the very important veil of ignorance that is uh, in his book, A Theory of Justice. Now, the question is, who was John Rawls? Now, John Rawls was an American philosopher, a very famous American philosopher who was born in Baltimore in 1921 and died in 2002. He was um, of the liberal tradition, actually. When we say American philosopher, we're talking about one of the liberal persuasion. Uh, but John Rawls was very influential in his theory of uh, social justice and the veil of ignorance published uh, in 1971. Now, let's take a closer look at uh, this theory and begin to understand John Rawls' position uh, in relation to how social justice should be dispensed in society. Now, John Rawls' theory of social justice is designed to have, and it says here, is designed to have a structure in society, right? So the structure in society that ensures the equitable, and these are key words here, right? So in his view, there ought to be a structure in society, and that structure should ensure the equitable distribution of primary social goods. Now, the question is, what will he have considered as primary social goods. Now, we're talking about a lot of things here. We're talking about jobs, for example, right? We're talking about jobs, for example. Uh, we're talking about housing, for example, right? Jobs, housing, for example. We're talking about uh, economic, um, right, opportunities. This is opportunities, for example, right? So these are all social goods in John, uh, John Wall's uh, uh, theory, in his idea. These are all social goods that should be made available to citizens, right? Just basic you know, amenities of life that ought to be available to all citizens, right? So let's take a look at this a bit closely. So Rawls' theory of social justice, of justice, is designed to have a structure in society that ensures the equitable distribution of primary social goods, jobs, housing, economic opportunities, education, right? We can add education to the list as well. And the list goes on. And then it says this structure, right, will rely on strong institutions. Strong institutions are very important. Strong institutions are very critical in the dispensation of these social goods, according to John Rawls. Right? So on strong institutions in society that will be responsible for the distribution of primary social goods, according to the principles of justice and fairness, right? Now, what are the principles of justice and fairness? Well, you know, treating everybody equally. Because egalitarianism was very important to him, right, where citizens have equal rights and are treated equally before the law. An egalitarian economic system that will account for every every citizen equally, that will uh, enable every citizen to participate to the fullest, right, to the fullest ability. Now, that is his idea of the principle of justice and fairness. In this theory, he says, citizens should be entitled to basic rights right? Basic rights and live in an egalitarian economic system. So the egalitarian economic system should be available to all where they have opportunities, job opportunities. They have access to housing. There shouldn't be a housing inequality. They have access to education that will lead them to the workplace, that will enable them to get jobs and be involved in the economic system and participate and provide for their families and get to a level in society where they are comfortable and they are contributing citizens, responsible citizens, taxpaying citizens, uh, with access to all amenities of society that everybody else has access to, regardless of economic status, right? So this is his idea of the theory of social justice, how social justice should be dispensed in society. And we should have access to that social justice and what he called the primary social goods of society. Now, in his book, uh, Theory of Justice, he talks about uh, the veil of ignorance. And the veil of ignorance becomes very, very critical as well in the grand scheme of things, in how he views social justice. In the veil of ignorance, Rawls posits that we do not, right? We do not know what kind of society we're going to be born into. That's the veil right there. The ignorance of uh, of the society in which we're going to be born into. Right? While we were conceived, we have no idea whether we'll be born in Africa, whether we'll be born in Latin America, we're born in Asia. We have no idea what kind of family we'll be born into. It could be a poor family, a working class family, a middle class family, an upper class family. 
We simply don't have an idea. We could be born in Baltimore, just like he was born, or we could be born in, in Caracas, or we could be born in, um, you know, Rio de Janeiro, or we could be born in um, Lagos, Nigeria. We have no idea where we're going to be born. Then he asked a very important question. And if that is the case, what kind of society will be ideal for us to be born into? So what will we say that is an ideal society that we should be born into? If we have an idea of where we are going, we are coming to this world, the question then is what society will we be born into, we would prefer to be born into? The veil of ignorance, we don't know where we're going to be born into. And so in this world, in this theory, there's a lot of inequality in society that has to be addressed. And the, these institutions, these strong institutions are designed to address those inequalities in society by ensuring that all citizens have equal basic access to resources. Now, resources ought to be distributed in a fair and equitable manner in accordance to the principles of social justice, right? And that's what it says here. Uh, and let's take this again. This structure will rely on strong institutions in society that will be responsible for the distribution of primary social goods according to the principles of social justice and fairness. And those principles ensure that every citizen has equal access to resources, or what he calls the primary social goods. And then, of course, the veil of ignorance, suggesting that we have no idea whatsoever of the society in which we're going to be born into, of the family in which we're going to be born into. And if we don't have any idea, then what will be the ideal society for us? So this is John Wall's uh, theory of social justice and the veil of ignorance that was discussed in his book, A Theory of Justice, published in 1971, and has been a mainstay in academia especially in the area of social justice and equity. Uh, so John Walls, a very famous American uh, political philosopher, uh, born in uh, Baltimore, 1921, and died in 2002, was very famous for his position on social justice, well, well revered scholar. So John Walls' theory of social justice then, and, and the veil of ignorance, has been very important in academia, yeah, as it defines the landscape of social justice and what we know as equitable distribution of resources to ensure the basic rights of citizens and to ensure also that citizens uh, have access to resources in an egalitarian economy, in an egalitarian society.